Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar with NCAA 14. We've got Rascat Recreations, Road to Glory right here, adds middle linebacker. I'll tell you what, in the first episode that I did with this, I realized there's a lot for me to learn with linebacker. I think it was the position my dad played in high school. If I remember right, I think he was a linebacker. Obviously, a lot of the stuff hasn't just carried on over to me. I got to learn the position and everything like that. I mean, I never played football when I was growing up, except in elementary school, but that didn't really count because we didn't have plays. And yeah, in my elementary school, soccer even, we had six goalies and a goal and like eight soccer balls. We were all kicking at them. So that kind of tells you the organized sports that I grew up with. Anyway, uh, for the last couple days here, I know I haven't been posting as many videos. You guys know what's been going on with work and everything as a side effect of that. I didn't have that much video actually uh, saved, so I've been having to play the games and then, you know, uh, prepare them, edit them, render them, all that stuff. And, yeah, so I'll be getting back to it this weekend. I should have a lot of time to be able to go through and play some games, get caught up. So that way I can just be posting on a regular basis like I love to do on this channel. So, I don't know. I just wanted to let you guys know that because I've gotten a few comments about it too. Just like, hey, where have you been lately, dude? Well, I think I mentioned it in a ton of videos, everything that's going on with work, posted on Twitter and Facebook. But as a side effect too, I've had to play games so I can go ahead and post stuff. So usually on the weekends when I have time, I'm going to do that. But it's the middle of the week. I found out with everything going on and the position being postponed, not cool. What else is not cool is the fact that I was offside one night. That was just my bad. I'm wanting to get the big plays as a linebacker, you know, the big hits, the sacks, all that stuff. But I have to be cautious about it. You know, I just can't hop into it, you know, just charge right at the quarterback. Um, but I don't know. Dang it, I missed that tackle. That would have been a great one for me. The one thing, too, about playing a linebacker that I think I'm going to struggle with is a measurement of how well that I am really doing in the game. Because I don't know if, you know, seven tackles in a game is going to be pretty good here compared to other uh, players in the game. You know, how many sacks I need to get, interceptions, stuff like that. So I think once I get that stuff figured out, I'll be doing a lot better because then I'll just be like, oh, well, this hasn't been a good game. I've only got X amount of sacks. I need to make sure that I'm a little bit more aggressive or I don't know. But, so there'll be, of course, changes with Rascat Recreation here. Just kind of make it a lot more entertaining. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm glad that I'm doing this, but it's a lot more frustrating, actually, than playing as an offensive player because on offense, I mean, you're in total control. Now you're, you know, as a, as a defensive player, it's all about reaction. Okay, so... You know, it's just like, oh, they're running at me, cool, or they're not running at me. There's nothing that I'm really going to be able to do on this one. So, like on this play, nobody ended up being anywhere that I was here in the zone. And I got to be smart. I can't, again, just rush the quarterback or anything. I got to stand there and hold my ground in case they do something that ends up coming my way. But I don't know. I think this will be, be pretty sweet. So... With uh, Rascot, game one was pretty good. Sweet tackle right there, too. Taking a look at that one here again. So, block was applied. I was able to run right into the middle of the field, hit him from the side, get the tackle. All about that. So, Rascot, I made him as a balanced linebacker, so he's not really about coverage or anything like that. So, it gives me a lot of flexibility and what be able to, to do with him starting off. But I'm thinking what type of school is really going to need a good middle linebacker here like Rascot Recreation. I mean, every school needs a good set of linebackers. Don't get me wrong. But I was just thinking, I was like, you know, with uh, with Fievel Pin, I think I know what school I'm going to be going to or at least what direction that I should go with. And I'm not, of course, going to go ahead and just say right now what team that's going to be or anything because that's going to ruin the fun. And who knows? Things might change. You know, when I've, I've got, I mean, I'm a planner, you know, so I've got everything set out, what I want to have happen and when, just all of these things. But stuff changes, you know. It's just like, oh, I don't think I actually want to do that anymore. And then if I go ahead and I announce something and have to go back on it, then it just makes me look bad. So 
Not going to go with uh, announcing what I want to do quite yet, but it's a little bit more of a mystery here with Rascot. You know, what, what school I'd want to go to, what conference, what style of defense I want to be playing for, things like that. I still got to figure that out. That's going to be kind of tough. So input is always helpful. I don't mind getting that at all. So if you want to comment and just weigh in, you're definitely welcome to do that. Game's tied at seven here. They're in the red zone, of course. I got to do what I can to make sure that they do not score. I think I played that option pretty good, given the fact that there's not too many times I've actually played the option or uh, tried to defend against the option here in uh, in this game. A lot of things have changed, of course, with options, stuff like that. But I don't know. And this game feels a lot different here, too, after what... Uh, NC, the uh, NCAA announced here that they weren't going to be renewing the license with EA Sports, and that was like a 21-year license I was reading or something. You think with that type of investment and that type of relationship that you do whatever it takes to be able to keep it going, but I understand, you know, with the cost of litigation and everything that's been going on lately here with, with lawsuits regarding some former players thinking that they should receive royalties for having their likeness, um, they decided to go ahead and drop it, which I think is sad. I mean, I, I you know, keep reading on it. It's just saying, you know, instead of NCAA football, it'll just be college football or something. But, you know, for the licenses and everything, they have to sign contracts with 120 different schools. It has to all be independently done. When you think about what the NCAA has been doing here, talking about the cost of litigation and these schools then having to uh, also understand that there is the potential that they could face lawsuits down the road. A lot of places have been saying, you know, to, to get you know, 120 entities to agree to something that's going to be very difficult that their parent organization doesn't want to be a part of. It's going to be really, really tough. So, I don't know, I'm kind of worried about seeing what's happening. I don't think this is the end of college football as a video game, but I think it's going to be a lot different and that's going to be tough for me. It's a, that's a tough pill to swallow. You know, just with how many years I've ended up, you know, playing NCAA, how big of a part it, you know, has been of me growing up and, and stuff. It's, I don't know. I wasn't too happy about that. I was actually really sad. My wife even texted me. She's like, so they're not making NCAA anymore? I was like, oh, how do you know? It must be that big of a deal if my wife knows about video game news. But... I don't know. I mean, the, the original articles that I was reading here was just like, yeah, they're not going to make anything anymore, period. You know, but uh, if there's anything that 2K has taught me after what happened with 2K13 is never count a game out. We might see something at the last second, so I don't know. Maybe this is a giant publicity stunt for people to buy the game now. Maybe it'll give them some more time to be able to prepare things for next gen. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but you'd think that even with all the new lawsuits, the litigation, all of that, they'd still make enough money off of this for it to be profitable. I've never bought NCAA, though, because of one particular player. You know what I mean? It's not like, ooh, I get a chance to play as Taylor Martinez. I'm going to pick up NCAA 14 so I can be Taylor Martinez. I'm not going to name anybody else except Taylor Martinez. I just think it's really ridiculous. And apparently um, there was, I think it was Sam Keller, if I remember. He's a former Nebraska quarterback, transferred in from Arizona State. I think even he had a lawsuit going on. Trust me, I would not want to have that guy. No, I would not play a game for that guy at all. He wasn't even that great of a quarterback for us either. Probably should have played basketball because he had a better bounce pass than anything else. I don't know, just saying. I wasn't happy about that, and I just kind of wanted to vent my frustration a little bit. But it really does feel different playing this game just knowing that as this game is right now, it's never going to be the same again. I kind of mentioned it in the last video. You know, this is going to be different because this is really the last, you know, sports game I'm going to be playing exclusively on the current gen. You know, I'm thinking with Madden about getting it for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 when it comes out. I'm just trying to figure out how that would work given, you know, if I do a, a connected career, which I'm going to be doing uh, a Teddy Crocker connected career with Madden 
and it coming out in September. I mean, it's not like I can do, you know, part of the franchise on um, on PlayStation 3, and then when PlayStation 4 comes out, just pick up from there because stats aren't going to be the same and everything. Um, you know, and also with your connected career. I mean, if I make Teddy Crocker, I can't go ahead and just be like, oh, well, he's in week so-and-so of year whatever, and he's accumulated this amount of yards. Move that on over to PS4. That would be really cool, too. I think it would be a great feature, actually. But um, Madden, I'm going to get on both. NBA 2K, I'm going to be getting on PlayStation 4. Um, I'm thinking about getting FIFA on PS4, but I'm just going to be so bad. I think I'm going to get it on PlayStation 4 just so I can watch Tom destroy me and you guys can watch Tom destroy me at that game. But who knows, maybe my unconventional American ways of playing soccer will win out. You know how it, you, you hear that saying that uh, you never get in an argument with an idiot because they're going to go ahead and bring you down to their level and beat you by experience? Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen with Tom and I when we play football. Well, soccer. Football if you're British or just anywhere else in the world. 21-14 here, Rascott Recreation has had a few good tackles, but really in the end, not the best performance uh, with him. Of course, we're gonna be seeing some off days. It worries me because this is high school. This is the time where it's supposed to be really, really easy. And this is the time for me to just kind of learn how to play the position. So, oh man, okay. I thought he was just gonna blow past me and everything. But with me struggling right now here when it's supposed to be very easy does worry me about what we're gonna be seeing at the college level. Of course, I'm gonna get destroyed. I mean, I know that, you know, uh, freshman season, all of that will be a nightmare. I just gotta hang with it. I think this is gonna get a lot better. I just gotta learn the ropes here. I have seen some improvement in the way I've been playing this one. Uh, over the last game and who knows what's gonna happen with week number three I might even make a few tweaks to it just kind of make it a little bit more exciting maybe add some time to the clock so I've got some more tackles things like that just makes me look better I've even think uh, I've thought about adding more time to five old pins as well just to you know like I mentioned kind of help out with stats so anyway two minutes five seconds here Looks like they are on the five-yard line, so this is the time where we've really got to stop them here. I'm playing man, not over my direction, but they pick up a yard. And, yeah, they kick the... Oh, wait, 28-14, so they got a touchdown. Oh, that's right, I got pulled. Anyway, game is done and over with. So Rask got having a decent game, but I'd expect more out of him. So thanks for watching this, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of this to come. I am going to go ahead and get videos done. So should be tomorrow that I'm back up and running here with things like the Braves franchise and stuff like that. So thanks again for watching. Why was play the game him kneeling? Did you guys catch that too? He was kneeling. But thanks again, you guys. I appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.